Hello guys from Fabrico Town, today I'm going to talk about the match between Andrew Rublev and Yuri Urkac, Shanghai 2023 final. First of all, uh, the Pole Yuri Urkac uh, defeats the Russian Andrew Rublev 6-3, 3-6, 7-6. After an amazing tiebreak, an amazing match, it was really fantastic tennis from both players. Too sad that we had to have just one winner and we had to have... A loser, but it doesn't matter. I think Rublev played uh, some really good tennis throughout the week. But um, apart from that, if we look now at the statistics, uh, Hubert Urkacz captures his second Masters 1000 title here in Shanghai. His first was uh, three years ago in uh, Miami when he defeated uh, Yannick Sinner. And in this match, Hubert Urkacz was also able to uh, save a match point in the first set tiebreak, which could have gone... Either way, and uh, as a result, now the pool rises to 11 in the Pepperstone ATP live race to Turin. I think he still has a shot to qualify. And, um, well, this is the it's the biggest title of the season for, for the pool. Um, well, I'm really happy for him. I, I, always, I always thought that he had the potential to win those type of matches. Uh, it's true that this year he didn't do... Uh, very much in terms of winning uh, big titles. But uh, if we look at an in interesting statistic, Ur Ubert Urkacz holds a 7-1 record in two level finals, which is, I think, in my opinion, very, very impressive with his only defeat in the Montreal Championship when he was defeated in 2022 against the Spaniard Pablo Carreño Busta, who is always a very uh, difficult opponent to beat. Um, this is... Apart from that, it's also a uh, positive news for Yannick Sinner because if Rublev would have won this match, he would have climbed fourth and he would have taken the spot of Yannick Sinner. And uh, thanks to Hubert Urkac's win, uh, Yannick Sinner keeps his ranking at world number four, his highest uh, so far. But really, congrats to, um, to Hubert Urkac, well-deserved, a brilliant week for the pole. I think he has played um, his best tennis so far, his best tennis of the season. Um, I think he has huge qualities, let's not forget, he was also a former top 10. I hope he's going to be back um, in the tennis that counts. Uh, I think he can uh, maybe win a Grand Slam in the future, I hope for him. I think his best service could be maybe on hard court or grass, but uh, yeah, really happy for him, even though... I would have preferred Rublev to win this match. I was kind of rooting more for Rublev, but uh, I kind of like uh, Urkacz as well. He's a really uh, likable guy, very nice guy on tour, and uh, I wish him really uh, the best uh, for his next uh, tournaments. Guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for listening. And as always, if you like the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. And see you next time. Bye.